anyway. On to the Hellfire. Now I'm not going to strip it down all the way because as you can see it has plenty of juice in it. But there are a few bits and bobs that I feel I need to just comment on fairly quickly. First is I have had lots of luck with 510. I've had about five, six different drip tips in this and they all fit perfectly. But this now is where I need to get a cloth out. And Chris, if you feel the need to yell anything, please do. Um, because what I've discovered is that this top cap here is mega tight. It takes an awful lot of getting off. Now, this... Come on. I'm pleased it's a glass tank. And I'm not a weakling. I'm a big strong lad, but can I hell get it to come off first time? Here we go. Nearly there. Mm -mm -mm. There we are. It is off. What that means is you can flood this top end with juice, should you so desire. And it's not dropping down. This O-ring that's around the middle here is extremely tight. And as you can see by the shine, I've got it well lubricated, but it's really tight. It's, it's machined to extremely close tolerances. And you may be able to see in that top cap that there's a flange, a little step that fits perfectly onto here. So you end up with a beautifully sealed chamber mm. at the top, <clears throat> which I, I rather like. Where I am having, I won't call it difficulty because it isn't really, it's just dexterity issues that this li these little nuts are tiny the tiny weeny little things very difficult to see very difficult to see where you've got your wire but that said once you've got it all set up and you've rolled a suitably slim wick it works absolutely beautifully and just because i thought i would give it a try this is an unflamed wick that's in you might be able to see, I'm going to see if I can get the uh, close up you can to focus on this really close up. Uh, and if it will, you, you may be able to see. I'm not sure. We'll get right in the centre so that it doesn't go out of kilter and try and zoom in on it. I need to go back a little bit. But you may be able to just make out that that wick, uh, you can see it now, you can see it's grey. It's the un unburned, unflame treated stainless steel wick and i decided i would i would give it a go to see this this technique of pulsing uh, because uh, chris had mentioned pulsing on sunday night and had been telling andy sutton about this pulsing technique so i thought i would give it a try and i did um, and i ended up being able to pull the whole thing together in a very very short order of time um, to the extent that i had it all done in what under three minutes mm. the wick rolled and it's uh, 270 mesh this one had the wick rolled the whole thing installed pulsed up it took six or seven pulses to make it uh, to give it the oxidation or whatever it is that it gets in other words to stop it from from conducting onto the wick and i did make the wick very very narrow so that it was loose in the uh, in the hole itself um, so that it would be just work. Um, so it had plenty of space, in other words, and wasn't going to make the, the, the wrong contact that I didn't want it to make. And it's been working superbly since. Now, of course, now that I've had it to bits, um, it's probably going to misbehave itself, as these things have a tendency to do. Uh, what are we looking at? Yeah, we're fine. 